Hey everybody, this is John Schwabish from policyviz.com. Welcome to another Excel tutorial. This one on labeling dot plots. Before we even get to that, we're going to create some dot plots, show you how to do that in Excel. And I'm going to use this example from Will Chase over at Axios, who created a really nice dot plot. This is my remake of it in the top left uh, from using Excel. I have a little blog post about this that you can link to and, and check out below and all the different ways that we might think about adding these labels. And so you can see here in the Axios remake, rough remake at the top, we have the names of these companies off to the left and then the labels for the years in the little line that spans the two dots. On the top right is a version mimicked again in, in Excel from The Economist. Again, here we have the labels right along the lines, above the line, so not off to the left. And then the version in the bottom left is another version that we could do where we have the labels and the data off to the side to the left of the first dot. Okay, having seen that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this first one, I'm gonna copy it and go over here to the dot plot tab so you can see it, this is what we want to make. So first thing we're going to do is create the dot plot. Now, a dot plot in Excel is exceedingly easy. You just have to recognize what it is from the perspective of Excel. It is a scatter plot. We're gonna have an X dimension and a Y dimension. So let's just start by making a scatter plot with any data that we have here. And you can see I've got a lot of data set up here. Um, let me just walk through this real quick. I've got the name of the company, I've got the start year, I've got the gap. This comes from the actual Axios uh, chart. So then I've calculated the start year and I've calculated the last year using that gap. Now I have this height variable here. That's gonna correspond to the Y dimension in my dot plot, so stay tuned. I've got the error again, I've just resubtracted, so it's really equal to the gap. So these two columns are the same. Got company labels. This is gonna give me the scatter plot position for these labels off to the left. I'm gonna have some data labels here, and I've got a variety of other data labels that I'm using in a variety of different places for those three options. So let's start by creating the dot plot. I'm just gonna select any two series. It doesn't matter, because ultimately, I'm gonna to have to go in and manually change these anyways. So I'm just gonna select those two. I'm going to select the scatter plot option, and now I've got a little scatter plot. I'm gonna make this quite bigger so you can see it more easily. There we go. Now let's go in and change it. Well, we're gonna need two series for this chart. So the first series is gonna be the start year. So I'm gonna make that the X uh, name there for series one. The X data is start years, the actual data values. And then the Y value is gonna be the height because all we're gonna do here is have the X values correspond to the data along the horizontal axis. And then the height is just literally like a counter that goes up. I'm also gonna add the last year. So column E, I'm gonna put in the X values here. That's the horizontal axis. And I probably just didn't select it just right. So it gave me a little error there, no problem. And the Y value is gonna be the height again. The height's gonna be repeated over and over and over again when we make this graph. Now I'm gonna click okay and boom. You can see it how it's lined up just like this chart because I put the X dimension on the horizontal axis and the Y dimension is just that height variable that I created. Well, let's just format this just a little bit. Let's make it look like this Axios chart. So I'm going to change the size of the markers. I'll just do some clicking, make it 10. I'm gonna make it that purple color. There we go, I don't want a border. I'll do a similar thing for the other markers. Again, I'm going kind of quickly here. You can obviously slow this video down. You can check out the blog post uh, that talks about this approach more. Uh, also my ebook that will walk you through this uh, more. Uh, carefully. All right, now I've got the dots. Let's get that line. I'm just going to do this by adding some error bars here. So I select my purple dots. I go to add chart element. Got some error bar options. Thank you, Excel. Gives me vertical and horizontal. Don't need the vertical, so I'll just delete those. On the horizontal options, I just want to go negative, so minus. Don't need a cap here, and I'm going to give it a custom value. And here, it's literally just the gap, which I've recalculated here as the error. It doesn't really matter how you wanna set this up, but I've set it up that way and I click, click okay. And now I've got those nice lines. Well, let's format those lines, make it solid, pick that gray color and let's bump this up, make it even thicker, maybe go a little bit more. There we go, something like that. And now I've got those gray lines, lovely. All right, let's change the format of the horizontal axis labels. We don't need that extra decimal there. Kill that to a zero. And let's put that at the top the way Will did. I thought that was a nice little approach. So I'm just gonna copy that. Axis options, put the horizontal axis at the maximum value and it's at the top. 
Lovely, let's kill this title. Don't really need it for this particular tutorial. Now let's add our labels. So first approach we're gonna do is we're gonna add our labels on the left side. So again, I'm going to do this with a scatter plot. Lots of ways to do this. I think it's become easier in the newer versions of Excel to do this with a scatter plot. So I'm gonna hit the plus button here. Again, if you're on a PC, this is gonna work the same way, same technique, just the menus are a little bit different. So let's call these the company labels. Now the X values, what are the X values? Well, the X values are 2004, right? That's gonna be our first value. We're gonna make this 2004 over here. So on the side, you see this is right now 2002. We'll make this 2004 in a moment. That's where we're gonna start the graph. Excel, I'm not plotting this with time, I'm plotting this just with, with numbers. So Excel thinks it's 2004. Now the Y values, again, it's that height. We just want it to correspond to that same height. Click OK, click OK, and I've got these points here. So now let's add some data labels. I right click, add a data label. Just by default, Excel's gonna give me that Y value. I'm gonna change that option to value from cells, which is something that I have talked about in my YouTube channel a lot. So check out a lot of the other videos here that you can check out. I'm just gonna highlight those company names, get rid of the Y value and put it over to the left. And let's make a couple more changes here. Let's start this chart at 2004 and let's end it at 2022. Got that set up, that's lovely. Let's squeeze this graph over just a little bit. So those line up nicely. Let's get rid of those Y axis labels, the original ones, we don't need them. And let's get rid of those little points. We don't need them as well. Over here, marker and none. So now you can see that we've got the labels off to the left. We've got the bands. And last thing we need to do is add these years labels right in the middle. So that's gonna be the Axios labels right here. So what do you think we're gonna do? Well, we're gonna need two things. We need a Y dimension, we already got that, that's the height. And then we need an X dimension. And so for the X dimension, I'm just gonna literally calculate the average between the start year and the last year, so that it puts me right in the middle of each of those lines. So select data, add a new series. I'll call these data labels. I should call them data labels Axios. X values are gonna be right here. Y values are gonna be the height variable. Hit return, hit okay. And I've got the points. Do the same thing we've been doing. Add our data labels, select them, go back over here to label options, value from cells. Again, if you haven't watched my YouTube channel, you'll know that I love this option. I'm gonna hit okay, get rid of the Y value, put it right above. Select the dots and put that marker away. And now I've got a chart that looks just like the original Axios chart right there. Well, my recreation of the Axios chart in Excel. Now let me delete this guy and grab this guy over here. This is the economist version. So let's make this one, all right? So let's grab this Axios one we just made, duplicate it. So control D or command D, depending on where you are. And now we're just gonna make some very simple changes. So here, I'm going to change the reference. And so I'm gonna go back to label options. I'm gonna select range and here, I'll just select the economist ones. I'll show you how I created that in a second. I'll delete these, let's put this back. And I've got that one done, except for the colors, of course. Now, where do these labels come from? Well, here, I'm gonna use a little concatenate function. I'm just gonna give you the company name and a little space, then the gap, and then the word years with a little space in there. And you can see I just dragged that down and now I've got the label set up here. One more approach. You can see once this plot, plot is set up, you are really set to go. I'm gonna copy this one over here, delete the original one, delete that, put this one in here. This is just another approach. Let's grab this one we just did and bring this down here. Last one we need to do, I'm going to select my little green dots, select add data labels, select those numbers, go back over to label options, value from cells. And here again, I've got these all set up. Boom, 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 boom. I'm gonna hit return, hit okay. I'm gonna put those to the left, turn off the Y value and slide these over and then delete these other labels, and I am all set. As you can see, very easy to create a dot plot in Excel. All you need to do is have the X dimension, which is the data, 
the Y dimension, which is literally a counter, and then you have the dot plot with the error bars that makes that line connecting. You can also add the labels in all these different ways that you can see here, color them, add different fonts, add a, uh, as you can see here, add a different title bar, lots of things you can do with the dot plot. If you'd like to learn more about how to create dot plots and slope charts, heat maps, tile grid maps, and all sorts of other graphs in Excel, check out my website, policyviz.com, check out my ebook, An Advanced Guide to Data Visualization in Excel, and of course, read the really short, uh, I think, nice blog post on these different techniques and when you would use each of these in your own work. So thanks a lot for checking in. This is John Schauber from policyviz.com. Please subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.